Hey, good morning, and thanks for coming back to the channel. And it's been a while. It's been a while for a reason. There's been a lot going on in the world, and uh, and both in the war world and in the Second Amendment world. Uh, and as you know, I don't like jump on every three minutes. There's some change out there. I'd like to give some thought to uh, to these things. But today, uh, this morning, I want to. Uh, like I, I am a card-carrying, flag-waving, amosexual. Okay, I said that in other videos. I'm totally into that. Second Amendment, our right to keep and bear arms, and I'm into some good uh, gun porn. You know, if it comes my way. But that's not what this is about. This is about gun porn and Second Amendment. It's about. <clears throat> I'm also a staunch Islamophobe in the pure sense of the word. I am deathly afraid of Islam and those who practice it. Understand what I just said. And if I was king of the world, I would not make it a religion because it is not a religion. It is a government masquerading as a religion. And I'm going to build up to this uh, thing that's going on between Israel and Hamas, which is really Israel and the entire Arab world. I want to come back to something that President Erdogan, who's the president of Turkey, said a few years ago uh, when there was this all this discussion about, well, there's moderate Muslims and there's extremist Muslims and there's moderate Islam and so forth. And he he basically lost his shit in public and said there is no such thing as moderate Islam or extreme there is only Islam in the pure sense of the word as spoken by the archangel uh, uh, whichever Gabriel to Muhammad now remember Muhammad couldn't read write none of that shit but that was, that's in the Quran so there is no moderate Islam and there is no interpretations authorized because the official language the official language of the Quran is Arabic and very few people uh, speak Arabic and very few people know how to read the Quran in Arabic <coughs> but suffice it to say that when you digest all that Islam stuff down, it, it comes down to this. Convert or die. That is their global message. It has always been their global message. And if there is a person who, whether she is a female and wears the hijab, or some guy with a beard, or some guy that wears a little cap, whatever and they say well that's not there's there's moderate muslims and i go then you you are an infidel if you went over to iran if you went over to uh palestine and started talking that moderate muslim shit they would consider you an infidel and they'll put your head on your chest just like they're doing with everybody else who's not with them now this thing going on between israel and and Hamas is just the beginning. When people say this is existential for Israel, it is true. It is true. Um, Hamas, Hezbollah, all of the Arab countries, whether they're Sunni or whether they're Shia, they all want the same thing. They want Israel gone and they want all the Jews dead. I'm not a Jew, I don't care. I'm on their side in this one, in this fight, right? So what you see happening is what Israel has done, is, is doing, is what I was expecting them to do years ago. But they've been very thoughtful about some things. Now they've released the Kraken. They've released the Kraken. And they're not going to bring those dogs of war back. Now, let's talk about civilians. Uh, the last count from the Palestinian 
source says something over 10,000 you know Palestinians killed let me be clear what that means first of all and they talk about women and children there are no innocent children in Gaza or anywhere in the Arab world why because convert or die children raised under Islam in whatever madrasa they go to whatever country they go to are taught how to hate Jews <clears throat> from the little munchkins they are taught that they are expected to remember that and many many can't get that out of their head in Gaza and in the West Bank and in other places uh, surrounding Israel these people that the Western world wants to classify as children are not they are warriors they become warriors at 13 they are trained, they are trained how to kill, they are trained how to kill with a knife, they are trained how to shoot, they are trained how to infiltrate, they are trained how to be warriors from 13 up. <coughs> so when you see, when somebody sees some young person's body and they want to wave their hands and say, well, we killed children. No, you didn't. You killed a soldier on the battlefield. You killed a soldier. It's no different than in America, where we have a lot of our, our gun fatalities. Where are they? They're in the black neighborhood. They're in the Hispanic neighborhood, where the gangs are, right? And these kids are 14, 15 years old, and they are warriors for their for their crew. But when the news gets a hold of it, it's, it's children. You know, children have been killed, blah, blah, blah. They're not children. They are warriors. They just happen to be young warriors. So let's not let's not waste any tears over 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 young people who are that young who have decided or have been forced to be on the battlefield they're going to die just like anyone else. So let's stop wringing our hands over this word how many children, right? I'll make an exception for a newborn <laughs> just to be exaggerated and I'll make an exception for an invalid old person. But in between Everybody's a warrior when it comes to that. Okay? Uh, so what is, what is now happening, what is now happening in Gaza is the uh, Israeli Defense Forces have now surrounded Gaza City and they're going to go, think, for those of you that can remember, think Fallujah on steroids. When <clears throat> when it, the decision was made to release our Kraken, which is called the U.S. Marine Corps, by the way, they said, release the Kraken. And we did. And those soldiers, man, those warriors, they went house, our war, they went house to house, and they fucked shit up. They fucked shit up so good, it scared the hell out of our military command and the world that was watching. We killed a lot of bad guys. We took no prisoners. We fucked them up. And they went, whoa, bring them back. And that was the end of that fight. But it went on a while. The same thing is happening now in Gaza with Gaza City surrounded. The Israeli Defense Force, man, there's going to be thousands, thousands of bodies. I'm estimating another 20,000, 20,000 uh, enemy killed another 20,000 right and we won't be looking at we won't be looking at the bodies laid out and all that kind of stuff right and yes there will be uh, Israeli military IDF people killed because it's a, it's going to be a fight but the Israelis will win um, the rest of the world will be looking at and they will say well it's disproportionate right because for every one Israeli soldier killed, we kill a hundred Palestinians, and that's disproportionate. That's not how it works. Disproportionality or proportionality in war is not measured by how many people on each side are killed. That is not how it works. That is not how it works, right? There's a whole formula for it. And trust me, the Israelis are inside of that formula, right? 
they're doing everything by the book. And there's gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna say another 20,000 dead, <clears throat> 20,000 Palestinians dead. Most of them, forget the word children, fuck that. Anything that has children on it is gonna just turn that into young Hamas warrior. <clears throat> But as the rest of the Arab world, especially the ones close, see that happening, Hezbollah is going to be chomp. They're already chomping at the bit. Um, they forget their history. They forget what Israel did to them the last time they decided to get froggy. Right? Iran is too far away, so they're using their surrogates to do stuff. And um, they're in check because we have three, three carrier groups in the vicinity. And most civilians have no idea what one carrier group can do to somebody. So that's where we are with that. So that's what's been on my mind for a minute. Um, it's going to get worse before it gets better over there. In this country, um, you need to be careful. <coughs> if you're Jewish, don't do Jewish stuff. Because somebody's going to jump out and, and, and do stupid stuff. If you look Arab, don't do Arabic stuff. Right? If you go to a gun, you know, this is America, right? If you're a U.S. citizen and you're from a U.S. citizen, and you're from another country that's Arab, and you go to a gun store or a gun range and you start speaking Farsi, don't do that. Because all that's going to do is make people, you know, that's not going to, that's not, that's a bad look. That's a bad look. You know? uh, this morning, I, and I like Shemogs. I have, I have a lot of them. And the original one I have uh, was, I've had it for 40 years, four, zero years, and it was uh, tribal from Palestinians, right? It was a gift to me. I had to throw it away because there's no way I'm wearing that today. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, there's just no reason to do that. <laughs> so if you're in a place where you can be uh, dangered up, be dangered up, have your head on the swivel. You don't know. Who's going to do stupid stuff, right? You don't know. That doesn't mean you go out and start stuff. I'll give you an example, right? I live in Boise, Idaho. And believe it or not, we had two weekends ago, we had people marching pro-Palestinian, <coughs> not pro-Hamas. We didn't have people yelling from the river to the sea. Didn't have that. You know, it's free Palestine, blah, blah, stop the war, blah, blah. The following weekend, uh, there was a, a, not a protest. We don't do protest. It was, it was a rally, a march. So similar, but this was, <coughs> this was pro-Israel. It was pro-Israel. And it was like four times the number in the pro-Israel group that was in the pro-Palestinian uh, group. And they did them on different days. Why? Because this is Idaho. You don't, I mean, an armed society is a polite society. You don't intentionally put two opposing forces together with that have such emotional traction. You don't do that. Just saying. Anyway, I rambled a bit. Uh, had to get these thoughts out. I am going to have. A, I'm, get, I'm going to do one on uh, on my hellfire. I love that. Right? Oh man, I, re I love it. But I'll I'll explain why. That's a whole nother video. In the meantime, uh, if you like the content, subscribe, bell icon, <coughs> comment, please, because I'm stuck. At 10,000, I have not had a single new subscriber. I don't know why. I don't know why. But that's just the way it is in the YouTubers. Um, 
as I always say, wherever you can, whenever you can, however you can, carry on.